It's Wednesday the 9th of February. Select committees have been sitting this morning um, using remote methods. Um, Parliament will start today with a motion congratulating Her Majesty the Queen um, on the occasion of her Platinum Jubilee. Uh, we'll then go on to questions to Ministers. Uh, Jan Logie to the Minister for Treaty of Waitangi Negotiations uh, asking why he is introducing bills in contravention of a recommendation of the Waitangi Tribunal. Uh, Christopher Luxon uh, to the Prime Minister about whether she stands by uh, her government's statements and actions. Duncan Webb to the Minister of Finance about economic reports. Um, Nicola Willis to the Minister of Housing uh, about the demand and cost of uh, housing. Um, Liz Craig to the Minister for COVID-19 about the focus for 2022. David Seymour to the Prime Minister uh, whether she stands by her government's uh, statements and policies. Uh, Simon Bridges to the uh, Minister of Finance about inflation and wage growth. Uh, Irina Williams to the Minister of Arts, Culture and Heritage about recent announcements. Simeon Brown to the Minister of Transport about light rail in Auckland. Um, Jenny Anderson to the Minister of Police about uh, firearms violence. Uh, David Seymour to the Minister of Finance about Treasury advice on fiscal stimulus. And Willow Jean Prime to the Minister for Economic and Regional Development about regional economic development. After oral questions, we will continue with the Prime Minister's statement. It will be led off uh, by Grant Robertson this afternoon. Um, after a period of time, we, that will be adjourned uh, and we'll move on to the first reading of the Firearms Prohibition Orders Legislation Bill in the name of the Honourable Peter Williams. And then the committee stages of the Conversion Practices uh, Prohibition Legislation Bill uh, in the name of Chris Farfoy uh, and the committee stages of the Land Transport Drug Driving Amendment Bill in the name of the Honourable Michael Wood. There will be a continuation of the Commerce Amendment Bill in the name of the Honourable Dr David Clark uh, and if we get through that there's a Maori Commercial Aquaculture Claim Settlement Amendment Bill in the name of the Honourable David Parker. So uh, we're going to spend quite a lot of time in committee uh, later on this afternoon and this evening. House will sit from 2 to 6, it will sit from 7 to 10. Select committees will be sitting again in the morning uh, and Parliament will sit from 2 to 5 tomorrow. Meanwhile, there's a bit of entertainment on the front lawn as well. <laughs>